Hey everyone, it's Amber and today I'm going to be doing my spooky October TBR. So basically this is like a huge list of all of the spooky books that I want to read and I don't think I'm going to get to all of them because there's a lot and I've been watching a lot of other people's TBR videos. So I've been like slowly adding to the list which is not helping me but I don't think I'm going to finish them anyway. But let's just get straight into this. The first one on my list is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I've read a lot of other Victoria Schwab books and I'm currently reading City of Ghosts which I'm really really liking so I definitely want to read this one. Basically from what I understand, this follows two college roommates. They used to be experimenting on the effects of near-death experiences and like the supernatural things that can happen because of that. And that sounds super interesting to me. And I know that it follows them in the past when they're doing that and in the future, I believe, of like what's happening now. And I think one of them just came out of jail and the other one is doing something else to do with the experiment. They kind of have a rivalry after that point. So I'm super excited to read this. I think a lot of people have been rereading this because the second one just came out. So I'm so excited to get into the first one. But yeah, so that's definitely very high on my list. The next one that I have is one that I actually just got from the library um, as an ebook and that is Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendari Blake. This one basically follows this guy that hunts ghosts and one of them is Anna and she's one that's kind of hard to hunt. That's basically all I know about this but I think it's just going to be kind of fun standalone spooky Halloween type of book. Next one that I have is The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and this one's kind of an unreliable narrator type of story and follows Mara who wakes up and all of her friends are dead and she doesn't know what happened and she doesn't remember anything and it kind of follows her like throughout her journey like figuring that out and I know it's a series that I think there's three of them that are currently out and then there's a second companion series that's coming out right now about one of the other characters so this just sounds like a really fun Halloween read and I feel like everyone else has already read it so I'm very excited to get into this one. The next one on my list is one that I saw from Riley Marie. Um, it's called Strange Grace. I know it follows this town where they have to make a sacrifice every year to the devil, but the year that it is in, in this book, it comes early and they have to sacrifice like their best boy kind of every year. And it follows three different perspectives. One of them is a girl, I think, whose father was the previous best boy. The next one is the current best boy. And then another one is a guy whose mother had him pretend to be a girl so that no one would know that he was a boy so he wouldn't get sacrificed. This one sounds super interesting and I'm very excited to get into it. The next one is one that I'm super excited about and it's called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. And basically, this one is about this girl named Evelyn Hardcastle who is murdered. This guy wakes up in a different body of the eight different witnesses every day and he has to figure out who killed her. And this sounds so, so cool and fun and interesting and I've never read a book like this so I really, really want to get into this one. And I've never read like a mystery type of like murder book so this is one that I definitely want to read and it sounds for some reason to me it reminds me of Clue and Nancy Drew like with Emma Roberts so I loved both of those things when I was little so hopefully I'll like this one. The next one that I have and the last one on my list is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I'm currently reading this and I think I'm about like 86% through it so I'm almost done and hopefully I'm going to finish it today but I'm really really enjoying it. It basically follows this girl and her name is Cassidy and her parents write about ghosts and like the history. They get their own TV show about it and she goes with them to Scotland and she actually had a near-death experience so she can cross the veil and see ghosts and interact with them and she has a ghost friend named Jacob. I definitely recommend that book but I'm almost done with it so I had to put it on my TBR. So those are all the books that I'm including on my TBR for October. I really hope that I can finish all of these this month but we will see. But anyway, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below. Make sure to leave a comment about your October TBR and some spooky book recommendations. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye! Words that I say, downtown the lights out, but we choose to stay. I don't know where this may go.